Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy Pride Month! My name is Franny and today I'm going to share with you some of the books that I plan to hopefully read during this month. Of course, all these books are going to feature LGBTQ plus characters and I am so excited and let's get right in. This TBR won't be too long because I haven't been reading all this much these past few months. My average is four or five books per month and I kind of want to give priority to the books that I own already. So these are the books that I'm going to show to you today but there are also others that I might get to hopefully if I can manage, if I can find the time but We'll see. The first book that I want to quickly mention is actually one that I don't have yet because it was released today and I have pre-ordered it but I'm guessing it's going to take some time till it is delivered to my door unfortunately. But it is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. She is the author of Red, White and Royal Blue which I read in 2019 when it came out and I absolutely adored it and this one I'm going to love it even more, I know that, because it features an FF romance, it's a rom-com and it is set in New York and it has time travel in it and honestly, do we need anything else? No, we don't. Now on to two books that I'm currently reading slash listening to. The first one is Take a Hint, Danny Brown. This is the second book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. I read Chloe Brown in March, I think, and I absolutely loved it so, so much. And I was waiting for June to read this book because the main character is bi, so we have LGBT representation. The main protagonist is Danica. She is a PhD student and at the beginning of the book she gets stuck in an elevator during an evacuation. Zaf, the security guard, saves her. They get photographed as they exit the building while he's holding her like a bride, basically. And so people believe that they're together and Zaf and Danica decide to keep up this ruse. Even though Danica is more the friends with benefits kind of person and she doesn't really want a relationship because she doesn't believe in love, but hopefully things will change. I am so excited. I'm 50 pages in and I'm loving it so far and I can't wait to continue. And the other book, I literally started listening to it today and it is The Boy in the Red Dress by Christine Lambert. I don't know much about it because I read the plot of this book last year maybe. It is shelved as LGBT on Goodreads but I think that it had trans representation if I'm not mistaken and it is set in New York in a speakeasy in 1929. It just started, I'm at chapter 2 so I don't really know what's gonna happen next but I cannot wait because I loved the beginning and I cannot wait to continue. Then I have Old City by Alex Di Francesco and I don't know much about this as well, but it is post-apocalyptic slash cli-fi because it is set in a New York after climate change has done some damage and we have two main characters and one of the two is genderqueer, so it is set in New York, it is LGBT, that's all I need. I have a few LGBT graphic novels that I'm still going back and forwards because I'm not quite sure which one to read, but the one that I settled on for now is The Avant-Garde and this is volume one of course. I think there are three volumes out so far. I don't know much about it, I know that it is set in college and I know that there is trans and non-binary rap and I've heard nothing but amazing things about this graphic novel. The art in it is just so cute, the kind of cartoonish style that I absolutely adore and I cannot wait. And last but not least, some non-fiction. Of course, I have two books here. The first one, and I gotta say, this might be my favorite title ever. No, maybe the second one. They both have great titles, okay? So I can't pick. But the first one is Ike Love 
by Callum McSwigan and this is a travel memoir. Let me just read to you part of the synopsis. In the spring of 2012, Callum McSwigan finds himself alone and heartbroken after a relationship of six years comes to an end. Unsure of what to do next, he leaves the hometown he has known his whole life to take up a job teaching English in Italy. What he doesn't know is that this would be the start of a journey that would take him across the globe, from a beautiful family home on the outskirts of Rome to the underground sex clubs of Berlin to the bustling streets of New Delhi and an animal sanctuary deep in the jungles of Thailand. How can you not be excited after a synopsis like that? How? And the other nonfiction book is kind of on the same <laughs> ground. I don't know, but I mean the title. Gears for Queers by Abigail Melton and Lilith Cooper. How amazing <laughs> is this title? Gears for Queers. Anyway, this is again a travelogue memoir kind of thing. We have these two women who are together, of course, and they bike throughout Europe um, or maybe just some countries in Europe and they of course have to deal with homophobia, fatphobia and so on and so forth and I again I'm excited. I had never seen this book before, I had never heard of it until I saw it on Lauren's channel, Lauren and the Books, and the moment I saw it I was like this doesn't even go to my wish list, this goes straight to my cart. I'm getting it today and I did get it that day and now it's here and I cannot wait. Both these nonfiction books involve traveling, they're both travel memoirs and it might be because I haven't really been traveling or going anywhere pretty much. I mean not just me, I think we're all on the same boat because of Covid and all that came with that which is just fantastic. But anyway, I am so excited about these books, I can't wait to read them and I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes throughout the month. So these are the books that I'm going to read this month, hopefully I'll read all of these and I am definitely going to read at least, I mean, listen to at least one more audiobook because usually I listen to two or three audiobooks each month, more if I have time but... <laughs> I'm not counting on it. So um, hopefully I can get through these and at least two audiobooks, hopefully even more. We'll see. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. I'll try to do like two recent reads slash two wrap-ups for this month since they have a specific theme. My plan was to start uploading videos of the books that I've read so far this year after yesterday's video. If you haven't watched yet, you will find it linked in the description down below and also up in the cards as always when I mention a video but I think that I'll push that to July and for this month I'll just focus on LGBT goodness. That's what I want to do because this is my month, okay? And we have to celebrate LGBT pride. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments what books you will be reading for Pride Month because I'm always on the lookout for more recommendations, of course. Any genre, any format, just hit me, okay? Just hit me because I cannot wait. Also, let me know if you um, knew about these books, if I caught your interest, if you would like to read them, just let me know in the comments, leave a comment. You know, guys, that I love talking to you. Also, feel free to check out my social media places and stuff. Let's be friends, let's talk to each other about books. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon with another LGBT-themed video. Warm hugs and happy Pride Month!